be young and in love is a bad thing in drama land. Or maybe it's just a bad thing to be anything this week as the show creates fresh problems for everyone, angels and psychopaths alike. Dejin will need lots of hugs and an extra pint of blood to deal with everything that's coming his family's way because believe it or not, things can get worse than just having a psychopath murderer for a father. Episode 17 to 18 recap We pick up where we left off, the two brothers wrestling over a hammer in Jay Yi's garage. Dejin is hard pressed trying to defend himself, block the door, and talk Hyun Mu out of a murderous rage all at the same time. Hyun Mu ups the pressure by describing all the evil things he's been up to lately, like paying off a perp to hurt Dejin and setting up that Christmas present for Jay Yi. Dejin sees through his lie of attacking Jay Yi the other night, but that's easily remedied because he's here now to hurt Jay Yi for being the reason Dejin sent Dad to jail. Dejin explains to his Hyung that he did it because Dad's a freaking murderer, but Hyung Mu thinks he should have let the killings go for their dad's sake. Dejin cries that it's exactly because he's their father that it's harder to excuse him for committing atrocities and hurting his own family in the process. In a flashback, we see just how unfatherish Dad can be as he watched three boys beat up a young Hyun Mu. Instead of lifting a hand or telling the boys to scat, he stared down at his son and ordered him to win and stop being an embarrassment to his father. Back in the present, Dejin reminds Hyun Mu that his real family is Mom and Do Jin who never stopped reaching out to him, even in prison. They can be a family if he'd only stop rejecting them. Hyun Mu hesitates before lashing out that he can't trust them because they already betrayed Dad. Just then, Jae Yi arrives on the other side of the door, making Dejin panic as the sound of her voice drives Hyun Mu so mad, he starts tearing the door down. Dejin holds him back, reminding him that they used to look out for each other. In another flashback, we see that Hyun Mu found his little brother's hammer and called him a weird kid before throwing it away. Dejin wonders what happened for Hyung to pick up the hammer of violence now. Dad happened, is what? In another flashback, Hyung talked to Dad in jail, asking for permission to kill Namu. Dad laughed in his face for trying so hard to get his approval. He tells him not to bother as he's useless and will never beat his younger brother anyway. The memory tips Hyung towards the dark side. He drops the hammer and takes out a knife, diving for the door. Dejin blocks him and gets stabbed instead. Gah. Does he think he's actually a tree? Hyun Mu stares, horrified at the blood on his hands. He remembers Mu Wan's words that murder is disgusting and it will haunt you forever. He stumbles out of the garage bumping into the Yoon Hee Jae fanboy from a previous episode. Fanboy scoffs at him and surveys the scene, laughing to himself as Jae Yi fights the urge to faint at the sight of such violence. She manages to stay conscious enough to call an ambulance and render first aid on Da Jin until help arrived. Watch the video Park Hee Young is currently on a mission to get a statement from the tight-lipped Mu Wan. She ambush interviews him, bringing up his connection to Hyun Mu, then Jae Yi's PTSD, until Mu Wan grabs her collar and finally offers a statement, she's nothing but a Yoon Hee Jae using a pen to destroy people's lives. Park explains that her actions are a social good since she sacrificed Jae Yi to get compensation and publicity for the other victims, but Mu Wan steps on that self-assurance by referring to her work. As picking up Yoon Hee Jae's shit, Park one-ups him by calling out his real name, Lim Tae Kyung, and the fact that he killed his parents' killer at such a young age. She wonders how it feels to be a murderer at 12 and if having a criminal's mind is his secret to being a successful prosecutor. Mu Wan isn't even phased as he agrees that he's a monster, just like her and Yoon Hee Jae. She's offended to be lumped together with murderers, but Mu Wan calls what she does a different form of killing. As surgeons operate on Dejin, we get another glimpse of Christmas Eve 2006. Namu looks spent as NAK1 is dragged away. He screams in frustration at why his father has to be a monster but Dad just repeats he has to get rid of Namu's weaknesses like some sick hillabot. Mom and Sojin are in the hospital waiting for the surgery to end while hearing the details from Jae Yi. During a quiet moment, Mom kneels before Jae Yi and wipes the blood off her hands while apologizing for what happened 12 years ago with her husband and tonight with Hyun Mu. Jae Yi kindly but firmly turns her down, I'll take that apology from the people who need to apologize. When Da Jin wakes up, Mom promises to catch Hyun Mu to